Hey movie lovers, today I want to take an opportunity and reflect back on 2018 at the movies that I thought were very overhyped. Now, of all the movie lists for 2018 that I'm doing, I feel like this is going to be the most controversial because these are movies that a lot of people I know loved. And then, unfortunately, I, did, I just think they're overhyped, right? So let's start with number one. I thought the most overhyped movie of 2018 was A Star is Born. I think on paper, it executes a lot of things well, but slowly, midway through the movie, there's it almost becomes a spectacle of itself where it's it just hits these various beats that it feels like it needs to hit, ultimately getting to the end, which... It feels like it, the, the ending, because the movie's been remade so many times, people feel like they can't change the ending, and so it has to get to this convoluted ending, which I don't think works for this movie, this version. So I, I love the performances, I love the songs, I love Bradley Cooper's direction, but I think ultimately, as a movie, it is far, far too overhyped. The second most overhyped movie of 2018. First Man. A lot of people love La La Land. I didn't. I think Whiplash is good. La La Land was overhyped, and so is First Man. You have one of the greatest spectacles of, of human history, the, the, the landing on the moon, and you downplay it as if he's going grocery shopping. In fact, that's the attitude that he has. He, he just has so much withdrawal against... He's supposed to have this passion. He, I get that he's supposed to be scared, but it just doesn't make you appreciate this moment in history. And I'm, I'm all for humanizing moments like this and saying that at the end of the day, there were humans involved and that they were scared. But this just, I believe, just does a huge disservice. Not only that, it's historically, it chose to be historically inaccurate. And I know a lot of movies are, which actually I do hate. And so I'm very saddened by this movie. I think it's far too overhyped and um, it's unfortunate because I wanted it to be good. It's it's uh, Ryan Gosling. I really like him. So, The third most overhyped movie for me in 2018 is Hereditary. I've recently began to love horror films. And I think they're a lot of fun. I, th I think they, they have a great message a lot of times. And Hereditary, the way it was marketed, is not what you got. It could have been this supernatural, fantastic movie. But unfortunately, it just turned into something else. It tried to be, serve too many masters all at the same time and ultimately walked away with nothing. So I'm very disappointed by it. I, I know some people really love it, but I also know a lot of people that hate it, and I fall into the latter camp, unfortunately. The fourth most overhyped movie of 2018 for me is Beautiful Boy. I thought Ben is Back is a far, far stronger movie as far as the, the, the theme of what Beautiful Boy is trying to say. Don't get me wrong, the performances in Beautiful Boy are fantastic, but th th there's a couple beats that just end up repeating itself throughout the movie, and there's a couple of scenes that happen that I'm left wondering, wait, this doesn't feel motivated. This goes against what you said earlier, and I know that, that when you deal with something like addiction, people can go back on their word, but this 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 kind of goes beyond that, and I can't fully explain it without going into spoilers, which so I won't, but just... Yeah, I mean, I mean, ultimately, I think it's a worthwhile movie to watch, and I encourage you to watch it and make up your own mind, but I think for my money's worth, it ends up being a little bit overhyped. Ben is Back is actually a far stronger movie, in my opinion. And last but not least, The Favorite. I know it's getting a lot of recognition in terms of its acting and so forth, and I think it's a fun movie overall, but the, the ball essentially just rolls out at the end. It, it, it leads to this culmination and it leaves me, at least, with, with not much resolve. It, I think it's a very sad movie. You, you, I certainly felt for the Queen and I felt for the other characters there as well. But, but ultimately, I think it's just a little bit overhyped. I think there's far better movies of 2018 than, unfortunately, The Favorite. The Favorite is not my favorite. So there you have it. Those are the top five most overhyped movies for me of 2018. Now, I'm sure you disagree, and by all means, I encourage you to do so. Go ahead and write in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, and let me know why A, you disagree, and B, which movies you thought were overhyped for you, right? 
And for more videos like this and, and other uh, discussions on the creative process and so forth, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And that way you get to keep up to date. And I'll see you next time. Bye.